Ring a ding ding, it's time to learn. I am Mike Diamond. Ring a ding 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 dong. This is Ms. Matinga. We've got a fishbowl of topics and we're going to educate the kids. The freaky ass kids, the lovely kids. We work the kids. Flash Gordon, Woo. the 1980 camp classic. Disaster. Some Flash would say disaster. Gordon. Of course, about the classic comic strip character from the 30s, Flash Gordon, starring an actor, a sort of minor B actor of the time uh, named uh, Sam Jones, a bottle blonde, kind of gorgeous. Kind of gorgeous. Uh, beefy. Who, yeah. Blank. Very blank, playing the the titular role of Flash Gordon, who in the film the titular, the titular okay. role of Flash Gordon, who in the film is a wide receiver for the New York Jets. Yeah, you know a thing or two about wide receivers. <laughs> trust, trust. Later on in that year, Sam Jones uh, did a spread for uh, a Playgirl. He could spread for me. Little red dick on him, so cute. It was an old spread. You know what that's like. I trust. It was from like 75 and then Playgirl republished it. Bitch is fine. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Little little shrimpy dick. Whatever. But, but looking good. Flash. Ah. Uh. And, and a quick sort of overview of the film is Flash uh, gets on a plane with uh, the, the, the gorgeous Melody Anderson playing Lewis. Dale Arden. Uh, and she plays like a, a, a plucky... She, she's a travel agent. Like a plucky travel agent. It's a real like 80s, you know, business suit kind of thing. Yes. Oh, talk to me, please. Get my mind off this. I couldn't believe a girl like you was alone. You're just saying that to get my mind off this. No, I mean it. And they crash land uh, into, literally into, the uh, laboratory of, uh, 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 of a mad scientist played by the Israeli actor Topo. I don't trust performers with one name. Topol. Uh, oh, and wait, by the don't way, they kill his assistant. They kill his assistant. The plane lands on his assistant, but, but you never hear a thing about it. Totally, sort of gloss over it. And this uh, mad scientist, uh, he, Dr. Hans Zarkov. Dr. Hans Zarkov is aware that Ming the Merciless, this uh, evil despot from another universe, is trying to destroy the Earth, and he engages Flash and Dale into saving the Earth. But really, he just kind of kidnaps them and takes them to the planet Mongo. Wait, but when they're on that spaceship, they have that weird like we're on heroin and I'm sweating but kind of erotic sort of journey through space. What the hell? So Ming the Merciless is trying to destroy the Earth. And just for uh, shits and giggles just, though. For but, no but, real but, reason. But, but for pure shits and giggles. And uh, Ming is played with absolute relish and menace by the fabulous Max Von Cito. Uh, I have a question about Ming. Yeah. The name Ming, is that just like a contraction of Miss Thing? Ma-ing. Ma-ing. Miss Ting the Merciless. Mr. Ing. Mr. Ing the Merciless. Maybe because he'd be wearing some fabulous ornate caftans. Oh my god, and those eyebrows. And the mean eyebrows and a fabulous pointy goatee yes. that just says pure evil. She can. And, and sort of like sort of a quick take on the plot is Flash and his gang have somehow got to escape Mongo and save the Earth at the same time. Uh, in comes a kind of young and sexy Timothy Dalton. Oh my god, so hot in those green Robin Hood tights. Playing the Prince of Arborea. Which is like the tree planet. The tree planet. And then there's also... He's fine. He's actually finer than uh, Flash Gordon. He's really, really like, fine. super hot. Even and with that, you know, that white man booty and them green tights. And that, that flat, wide white man booty. And then also you have the the winged men who are also being enslaved by Ming the Merciless They're as creepy. well. They're creepy. The hawk men? Yeah. They're creepy. Yeah, but I Kind of like S&M-y, leathery looking. I, I remember as a young man watching that film, as a young boy, really, and thinking, they look damn sexy. Oh, I think they're horrifying. I, I, there was something very sexy about a winged man for me. No, but they all have that really ugly British stage actor look. But honey, let me, let us not forget to pay fucking homage. Oh, don't sleep. To the diva of this film, Ornella Muti. She is the one. She plays the daughter of Ming, uh, Princess Aura. Is right. she Aura? Princess Aura. Miss and Princess Alright. Uh, uh, honey, who's an absolute for the the luminous, the gorgeous Ornella Muti, playing an absolute space slut of all time. She is sleeping with Timothy Dalton. She wants to have Flash as well. She's sleeping with the state doctor. She's fucking everyone and getting her way, honey. Basically, she a space hoe. Uh, yeah, she a big old space hoe, honey. So she falls for Flash, who Ming, of course, 
instantly wants to put to death. But before we put Flash to death, we've got to put him in a pair of sexy little leather shorts. Little black leather shorts, shirtless, hung up like this in some kind of bondage thing with some weird Hellraiser black cube on his face. What the yeah. hell? One of the main things I love about Flash Gordon and one of the things that makes it so famous is the music. The soundtrack is by Queen. By Queen. Legendary rock band Queen. And I think it's a genius melding. Absolutely genius. Of like prog rock and trippy campy space opera. Yeah. And you know, who doesn't like still know the music from that film? Flash. Ah. Uh, fantastic. He'll work every one of us. <laughs> Flash. Queen did their thing, and you know, of course, Freddie Mercury did their thing, and it fits perfectly into the film. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to give the whole thing away, but I do want to point out one scene toward the end when uh, Princess Aura has now had her uh, her comeuppance, and she is now trying to help Flash and everyone escape. But Dale doesn't know it. What happens when Dale when she meets Dale? They have a fight, but do they have a fist fight? No, they have a sexy pillow fight. A sexy satin pillow fight in the boudoir, the chamber. And Dale throws her for a fucking loop. Honey, but Miss Ornella comes through with that yeah. first tumble. She, bitch goes yeah. head over heels. Head in heels. over heels. You, uh, you damn mongo person. Uh, you couldn't tell the truth to save your life. She flies head oh over my heels. God. It makes me think, God damn it, I wish I was around for the disco <laughs> era because those I'm bitches so had fun. Yeah, exactly. Get into the slave girl yeah, that drinks yeah. that her hair is so bad. It's very Long Island. Oh, like it, very like, sort of uh, 1980s Long Island. It's like maybe they had feathered yeah. it in the makeup trailer in the morning, but then all the humidity on set just killed it. It just frizzed on her it lovely. Is bad. But her body's nice though. I love when like um, Flash and Timothy Dalton are on that sort of rotating platform whipping each other. I'm sorry, this movie is homotronic. Very, directed by a guy named Mike Hodges. I wonder if he was gay it's because- very homotronic. Very, very homosensual. Mm -hmm. um, and really, just flat out campy. Like, they must oh. have been going for camp. Who's the robot dude? With the face that he's kind of a lech and he kind of wants to fuck the emperor's daughter? Oh, he is General... General uh, Clata. Uh, General, uh, General Clytus. Clytus. And then, there, Clytus. And then there's that evil dominatrix looking space chick. Her w name was Clata. Uh, her, it was Clytus and Clata. But she's actually rocking a really fierce outfit that's very Erte with like this plastic helmet. Yes. She also has a ring that shoots fire that's yeah. fierce child. So it's Clytus and, and Clata. Clata. Oh, good fire! What do we think of Dale Arden? Miss Melody Anderson with her light, light blue eyes. Pretty. Just just so pretty, but like giving the type of performance that's so blank. Like in five minutes of them meeting each other, she's trying to telegraph that she loves him. Yeah. And it's just really sort of lame. I kind of loved him too. Yeah, but you like, know what? It's I, like I think she was like a decent light comic actress. Yes, better actress than Miss Ornella Muti. Ornella Muti is not an actress. She simply is a persona. Miss she Ornella simply is Muti. Ornella Muti. Oh no, my God. not the boar worms. No, not the boar worms. It's just high camp hilarity. It's sexy men, sexy men, bitchy women, sexy women. It looks like disco, tastes like Art Deco, and a soundtrack that holds up to this day. Yeah, and Sam Jones all. In bondage, half naked. And Miss Motherfucking Ornella Muti. Ornella Muti. Children. Don't sleep. This is homework. Give and learnt. Y'all bitches just don't know.